In this video, we'll be showing how to move the default root directory for Docker. You may want to change the default root directory if you have additional disks mounted that have more space than your root drive, or you just want to clean up your directory structure to put all files in a single place. Here, we're using a DigitalOcean's droplet that was set up using their marketplace uh, image for Docker. And we can find the Docker root directory by running the docker info command and searching for docker root directory. So here you can see it's set at var lib docker, and this is the default on most installations. Yours is probably the same. Uh, so there are two ways to update the docker root directory. The first is to modify the docker service uh, configuration. And we could do that by first getting the status of the Docker service using systemctl. So systemctl status docker.service. And this will give us what configuration is currently loaded. You can see here it is lib systemd system docker service. So we'll want to go and modify this file. And this section we're looking for is specifically the execute start of the docker d service. Now docker d takes a extra command line um, with the dash g command where you give it uh, a default root directory and we'll use new docker root and save. Now you need to restart the, the daemon and restart the docker service. You could either do this by just rebooting, or you could use systemctl daemon reload and then restart the Docker service. And we can verify that our settings have been put in place by going back to Docker info and finding our root. Here we go Docker root directory set up to new Docker. So this is all fine. However, your Docker service configuration might get overwritten if uh, if you update Docker, which is not ideal in most cases. However, if you're stuck on a single version, then this will be fine for you. So let's go and reverse these settings and we'll And then we'll show you the second way of doing this. Just get rid of that all together. Save. And then we could reload our daemon again and restart Docker and Docker repo. And boom, we are back to our default. So the second way to modify your root directory is to go and actually add a new configuration file to Docker. Um, and you'll do that by creating the file in etc docker daemon dot json. And you'll see this will be a new file that doesn't currently exist. And we will want to, since it's a JSON file, use appropriate structure. And the setting we want to set is data root. And we will set this to uh, new docker root. And then we'll close our tags and save. So now we just need to restart the Docker service again. And we do that just the same way. Re reload the daemon, restart Docker. Then we check our that our configurations have been put into place with Docker info. Oh, that didn't look to take an effect. So let's go ahead and check what we did here. Ah, we mistyped the name of the file. It's etc docker daemon.json. So we'll just go ahead and recreate this. Data root, and that will be new docker root. And then 
then we'll go through and reload everything. And then we could check. There we go. So now we have our Docker root directory and it is set to new Docker root using our um, Docker daemon JSON file. All right, thanks.